great. But they want ventilators. Uh, Italy wants ventilators. Spain wants ventilators. Germany wants ventilators. They're all calling for ventilators. Well, we're going to make a lot of ventilators. In this episode, I will explain more details about the pressure sensors and how they are connected to the microcontroller. If you didn't watch the previous episodes, please watch them now to be able to understand this episode. The ST10F276 microcontroller is used as a CPU of the Medtronic PB560 ventilator. You can download its data sheet from the description of this video. It has 8 ports. The sensors are connected to port 5. The pins of port 5 are the analog input channels of the analog to digital converter. This is a part of the Medtronic PB560 CPU circuit schematic. And these are the pins of port 5. These pins are connected to the sensors. In Medtronic PB560, we use ASDX001D44R for pressure sensors. You can download its data sheet from the description of this video. The circuit of pressure sensing is very simple. This is the pressure sensor. Two hundred and twenty nanofarad capacitor, four point seven nanofarad capacitor, four point seven kilo ohm resistor, one hundred nanofarad capacitor, pin one. 5, 6, and 7 are connected to 5 volts analog reference. Pin 3, 4, and 6 are connected to 0 volt analog ground. Five of the 16 analog inputs of port 5 are outputs of the recently explained pressure sensing circuits. In the next episodes, I will explain the other inputs of port 5 of the microcontroller, then I will explain how to write the software program for the microcontroller to read the port 5 analog input signals. To receive a notification when I upload the next video. Please subscribe and choose to receive all notifications from the ventilators channel. And click like and share to publish ventilators manufacturing knowledge. If you have any questions about ventilators please write your question in a comment below.